Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and this is day five of Not Back To School Week. That's it, it's our last day of Not Back To School Week. It's Friday, you're getting that Friday feeling because I am getting that Friday feeling and I'm really looking forward to spending the weekend with my husband who I don't, who now he has a new job I don't see him very much uh, during the week. So I'm looking forward to spending the weekend with him, chilling out, doing some fun stuff and uh, yeah getting some more videos filmed for you guys which is what i will be and taking care of that full laundry basket as well probably so let's get in let's get into the video let's talk about our last day of not back to school week which is our favorite apps and i'm inviting you to put in the comments below your favorite apps as well because i'm always up for learning new apps i do know what i have a lot of a long 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 list of curriculums and stuff that are within our budget that we would use or we try or we have a look at but apps are always a big one because I can't be bothered to go to the whole thing of downloading an app and playing it myself, getting the hang of it, and then showing the kids. So I like recommendations when it comes to apps that, you know, especially if you have kids like mine, who if they spend a lot of time on screens, they get very hyperactive, they can get a little bit aggressive uh, with each other, a bit more rough, rough and tumble than they would if they weren't using screens. So I'm very mindful about uh, what they're allowed to play and what they're allowed to do using screens so um if you have got some recommendations for me please put them in the comments below so other people can see them too and um i'll check them out maybe i'll do a review video on them so firstly our favorite app and we have um done a sponsored video with them before and um there is a code for you in the um in the box below uh, in the description box and that is code spark academy and i love spoke code spark academy i can never say it properly i love code spark academy and my brother-in-law who does coding for a living had a look at it a couple of weeks ago with my eldest son and said it's really good um it's teaching some really good coding stuff it's the real deal so um yeah so we really like it and i didn't really don't really understand the don't really understand coding personally it's that's why we use the app because it's something that's going to teach the children their own things i'm going to teach them it without me having to have any input um but obviously my brother-in-law said it's really good so um if you do the puzzles and the challenges it teaches you all these new different things and then you can practice what you've learned in the stories and in the um in the game mode so um, check code spark academy out if you haven't use the code in the description and let me know what you think now if you do use the code i will get a little bit of a remuneration from the company um i think it's about five pounds but i use that to, all any money i get from this channel goes straight back into home education stuff for my little kitties over there so the next one we really like is brand new we've only just found it and that's matafique and again i did do a review video on this recently um that's with um that's not an affiliate link or anything like that we just really really liked it um i've been looking for a maths app for a while that really kind of hits the spot and i was able to do a excuse me teacher subscription <sighs> so i can um i can tailor what they do everything is scheduled out over the year and they um yeah they get some they get stuff they get everything done um according to their year group that they've been placed in so i really really like that and it's a lot cheaper if you've got a few kids and you're doing it from a school point of view um as well so make sure you select a school option if you do use matafique um i've worked out for the next two years next two school years um it worked out to be 35 pounds for the three of them for the whole year so it's definitely definitely worth it uh, the other app we really like are some literacy apps we really like teach a monster to read because it's free it's free on the laptop i do believe you may have to pay for it on the tablet um but once you've done that that's it um and again it's just a phonics app you can get other resources that kind of match up with that it's one of the government recommended phonics um schemes that they use in schools so that's great um, and it's really funny it takes you the child makes a little monster and then the monster has to find the letters and then they get bits of their spaceship to build their spaceship to go home um, and they're learning letters and um, sort of phonic phonetic sounds and then high frequency words all the way through that's really good I really I mean I've played it with them like when they were just first learning it, and I was like this is fun <laughs> so it also gives you a report so you can see um, how well they're doing on things so I always go if they're not getting 
if they're not getting 90% or above they might need a little bit more work on that sound and then I kind of back that up um, with the stuff that we're doing at home. So the other phonics app that we really like is Reading Eggs and you see Reading Eggs floating around a lot. Um, they also have Math Seeds, they've now got Fast Phonics and they also have um, Reading Express um, which is all, um, it's a full um, language language arts curriculum um, and you can again supplement that they have worksheets and things like that that you can supplement using their um, on their website once you've had a subscription for maths and English they're both really really good and it's a very good price as well uh, they do do home education home educators discounts and there are some groups sometimes they bundle together and get a big um, subscription so yeah definitely definitely worth it so what have we done? We've done Codes of Arc Academy, we've done Matafique, we've done Teach a Monster to Read, we've done Reading Eggs. The final one that we really love is found on the tablet. Now I don't know if it's on Apple, but it is on Android and we are an Android house and that is Primary Maths. Now Primary Maths, the um, it's literally what it says on the tin. Primary School Maths, year R all the way to year six. And it, it just is a full, again, a full curriculum all on the tablet. I personally think that it's a good supplemental. We would supplement it with the Power Maths books. We would do, um, if we were having, for example, we have a very busy day on Mondays, to the big two are at forest school and then albert is at preschool so instead of giving them a pa making them do a power maths book when they get home when they're tired i might say hey do you want to go on primary maths for a bit and get them to do a couple of uh, maybe half an hour 20 minutes on primary maths and and then a bit of time on say reading eggs or teach monster to read something like that um for the younger two i can't stop yawning today i'm so sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> um so I find apps really, really good for that purpose, and primary math is very good. It starts off with colours and shapes for the little ones, goes all the way through counting, and then the bigger they get, the more they're doing things like time and money, length, weight, that sort of thing. It's a really, really good little app, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, my son doesn't like the lady's accent, um, it's, but it's not her accent. She speaks really slowly, so she has quite a northern accent, which, of course, living in the south, it's not something he's used to, but she talks really slowly, so she's like great job and that's the bit he doesn't like he doesn't mind the accent because um he does have cousins who live um in in uh, west yorkshire so they he's, he's used to quite a thick northern accent but she speaks really slowly it's like super <laughs> and so he finds it sometimes hard to understand the fact that she speaks so slowly um and also has a different accent to him so charles does struggle with that and he it will it really kind of grates on him from an auditory sensory point of view um so whereas the other two don't care and the, but with charles it's very easily done you just mute her um just turn the volume right down and then he can get on with the app and use it and it's fine so this was the end of not back to school week i have included all the links mentioned in the description box so you can give them a go some of them are google play store apps and if they are on apple if they're available on apple i've included apple as well okay thank you so much for joining me for not back to school week i was so glad to see you every single day this week and we will be back to three videos a week uh starting next week and i've got some really great content coming up um we're gonna be sticking with home education videos on a monday and then we're gonna have family themed videos um, on Fridays still. And then the Wednesday video, I had a big think, and obviously it was gonna be our adoption series, which is now not gonna be going ahead, at least for the next few years. But you never know, something might pop up um, in the next couple of years. And uh, when, when it does, we will be going back to it. We have decided we will definitely be going back to it. And um, of course we will share that journey with you um, when it happens and when we're ready to, which might be a little bit later on in the process next time <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me don't forget to like and subscribe if you like home education content and join me for three videos a week 5 p.m every single week bye